I'm a child of the 60s, born in Birmingham, Alabama, and public speaking has always been my thing. Uh, I can remember as a little child being in, in church, and uh, my grandmother would often say to me when I had speeches to do or reports to read, raise your voice, make sure everyone can hear you. I still hear those words from my grandmother as we enter this political season. I hear her telling me to raise my voice. I'm mindful that people like my grandmother and my grandfather and others in my family fought for the right for me to raise my voice politically. For them in Alabama, there were tests to make sure that they were prevented from voting. My grandmother recalls a story of showing up at the polls and being asked to name the number of jelly beans in a jar. The number of jelly beans stood between her and her ability to raise her voice. So for me, voting is the only way I get to raise my voice in a political climate that does not want me to be heard. I raise my voice for equal rights. I raise my voice for equity and education. I raise my voice for health care for all. I raise my voice for marriage equality. I raise my voice because people like my grandmother and my grandfather and my aunts and uncles fought for me to have the right to do so. Please join me. Make your voice heard. Vote this November. Thank you. For more information, go to ucc.org, Our Faith, Our Vote.